This is Valley News Live at noon. Some of the valley are already seeing snow and more of it is on the way. So let's go straight to Lisa Green to tell us what we should expect this afternoon. Lisa? Well, good afternoon. You know, conditions are starting to make a turn for the worse in some places here in the valley. Uh, on I-94 in Jamestown, we've been seeing some snow areas in that uh, region and western parts of our viewing area, and that's where temperatures have been a little cooler. And I just want to point out there's just a little bit of snow on the edges of the road there. Not enough to be impactful, at least in this particular spot. But it could mean that we're looking at snow starting to accumulate uh, as it moves through. It's lighter snow at the moment, but as we start to fill that in more and more, we may see more accumulations going on even as we head into the early afternoon hours. A lot of spots are seeing just the snow flying around and then it melts as it reaches the ground. Here's a look at the latest. You can see that wraparound snow that's been moving into southeastern North Dakota. This is a little more scattered, but there's some wind associated with it too, causing some uh, blowing going on there and back just west of Fargo. We're seeing over by Tower City a little heavier snow happening down toward Lisbon and in the Oaks area too and it's been stretching back up to the uh, Oaks or rather the uh, Devil's Lake area. Now north of the border that's where the main area is and this just continues to drop to the south and east as we make our way through the afternoon and into tonight. And down in Hankinson, check this out. That wind is really whipping those flags already. We've got the flakes flying. We're going to be seeing more of this as this moves through. So be prepared for that if you're thinking about traveling today. May want to rethink it and make sure you're prepared. Make sure you've got your survival kit in your car. Temperatures are just barely at or above freezing. Eventually they will drop as we head into this evening and that's when we see more accumulations. And a quick look at our winds gusting in several places into the 20s and 30s. Sisseton, a gust right now to 39 miles per hour. So that combo with the snow going to be trouble. I'll have details on that, the timing of this, how much snow we can expect to see all coming up in just a couple of minutes. Well, it sounds like you have a lot more to tell us. Yes. So I look forward to that forecast. Thanks, Lisa. Authorities in central Minnesota are trying to figure out why a barn went up in flames. The Stearns County Sheriff's Department got a call on this fire yesterday near New Munich. Flames could be seen shooting from the roof. No animals or people were inside the barn and a damage estimate is not yet available. The Department of Homeland Security says the holiday season could create an environment for terroristic threats. In a bulletin today, it says it's not aware of any imminent or credible dangers, but it says religious gatherings have been targets in the past. Other factors include extreme narratives online, pandemic stress, and recent events in Afghanistan. A Brainerd Healthcare facility is in line to help ease a surge of COVID-19 patients in central and northern Minnesota. State health officials say the Good Samaritan Society Bethany will serve as an alternative care site as a part of the governor's efforts to help larger hospitals focus on treating COVID patients. An emergency staffing team of 14 Minnesota National Guard members and nine federal nurses will treat patients beginning next Wednesday. The site has room for 34 patients with no longer who no longer require emergency care, but are not well enough to go home, such as people recovering from surgery. They will not be COVID patients. Governor Tim Walls announced an action plan last month to expand access to long-term care beds, so hospitals can focus on treating COVID-19 patients and others requiring emergency care. The Good Samaritan Society, Bethany in Brainerd, is the second alternative care site to open in Minnesota. On this Veterans Day, the Biden administration announces new support for troops exposed to environmental hazard during deployments. Burn pits were a particular concern. They were used to get rid of hazardous waste and material compounds at military sites throughout Iraq and Afghanistan. 86% of post 9-11 veterans who served in those areas say they were exposed. The Department of Veterans Affairs previously said those exposed may be at greater risk for long-term health conditions. And it's a very special day at Nash Arlington National Cemetery. This year, Veterans Day coincides with the 100th anniversary of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. To mark this hallowed occasion, a special procession marched through the grounds, and each branch of the military marked the day with flyovers. Meanwhile, President Biden took part in a wreath-laying ceremony. The president stood at attention as the national anthem played, and they stepped forward for the ceremonial wreath-laying. He then bowed his head for several seconds before rejoining the group behind him. The first American soldier was interred at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier on November 11, 1921. And Americans are honoring those who served in the military on this Veterans Day in 2021. There's a Veterans Day ceremony at 1 p.m. at Gorecki Alumni Center in Grand Forks. 
The First Lutheran Church in downtown Fargo is planning a concert featuring the brass ensemble of the 188th Army Band of the North Dakota National Guard, and that's tonight at 7, also open to the public. An appreciation dinner for veterans and their families will precede the concert from 6 to 645. All veterans are welcome. The dinner and concert are free of charge. You can also find a list of discounts offered to veterans and military personnel on our website at valleynewslive.com. Coming up at noon, a Minnesota World War II veteran receives a special gift. But next, we'll be back with weather and tell you how that could possibly affect your evening commute. Stay with us.